हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम संकेत अवर टुडेज टॉपिक इज यू आई डेट पिकर सो नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ दी हाउ टू यूज डेट पिकर हाउ टू इम्प्लीमेंट इन इन योर प्रोजेक्ट्स सो नाउ लेट सी इन प्रैक्टिकल बेजिस सो नाउ आई एम क्रिएटिंग न्यू एक्सपर्ट प्रोजेक्ट्स देन आई एम सिलेक्टिंग द सिंगल वे एप्लीकेशन नाउ क्लिक ऑन नेक्स्ट सो राइट डाउन योर प्रोडक्ट नेम इट मीन्स योर एप्लीकेशन नेम so now here my application name is dead picker click on next and create so now first of the for the inputting of date and time value in ios we have ready made date picker controls so now for the user input according to your requirement something with the date and time value at the time you can use it's a date picker okay so now let's design it so go to your main door storyboard and now we have a ready made control for that so before implementing first i am designing my background okay so now in your control library you have to just search picker so now you can see the first control is a date picker okay so now how to use simply just drag and drop on your screen so now you can see okay this is the date picker okay now you can see the first highlighted our current date and time so now it's a two day 8:23 am okay now let's introduce about the date picker properties so now here in left side you can see there are so many properties are there for the date picker so now most important properties let's discuss so now first property is mode so now here you can see the default mode is date and time so now in it means your date picker is supported at a time date and time now you have to change the mode according to your requirements so now actually there are four modes of the date picker if you want only time so now at that time you can select as a time now if you want only date okay so now at a time you have to choose as a mode date option now if you want date and time both okay at a time you have to use this mode now if you want to count down timer so now at that time you have to use this option now here i am implementing with only date mode here now second property it's a local so now local you can see the type is default now in between you can see the various different types of region countries according to your time calendars okay so now you have to use according to your application requirements so now you have to select a specific region according to country for example i want a hindi calendar so now again it's there so now just choose a hindi so now you can see your date picker is in hindi now also it's a gujarati supported so now you have to also use this properties okay but here i am using as a default it means my current system configuration settings okay now then next property is interval so now default interval time is 1 minute you have to change as per your requirement now then after next property and the most important property is date okay now if you want a date as a programmatically at a time we have a date class okay so now here you can use it's a date property so now in between you can see there are two option it means current date and the custom date okay so now right now in date picker so default it's a current date you have to set your custom according to your requirements so now at a time you can use it's a minimum date or maximum date okay but here i am using it's a current date so now this is the date picker now how to use it and how to show on your simulator device for so now let's try to run your application and see the output here for the date picker we have 
a date class okay now if you want a date time any value according to a requirement as a programmatically at a time you can use dot date class now here so now just hold it your application is on the way and now see the output first now here for the date picker is used to selecting a date and time value from this date picker control now see okay so now here our date picker mode is date only okay now here i am using only mode as a date so now you can see your date picker is concave with the month name your date and your year okay now if you want to change any date and time so now you have to just roll it okay so now this is the date picker okay now let's see again now how to get a selected date from the date picker okay now if you want to get any selected date from the user side so now here uh, for example i am here designing one text field okay so now for storing the selecting date here so now here my text field okay so now here i am using one text field okay now let's set the property so now i'm set the alignment as a center and the plus place holder for example here i am set as a date of birth now let's try to implement it so now first i am creating the outlet of your text field so now here my outlet name is txt dat and now whenever you get a date from your date picker okay at a time you have to create your action of your date picker okay so now here i am creating action of date picker then also we have to require the property so now at a time i am using as a ui date picker means also as a outlet option and now then click on connect okay now let's try to implement in between so whenever you select any date from your date picker at a time this date prints on your text field so now how to get it so now first i am creating one objects as a dt and then first i am store a current date from the date picker so now we have a class it's a date okay now sender it means your date picker okay now sender dot as a date class okay now then after just one minute here something went wrong okay yeah okay now first i'm print this selected date on console okay so now see i'm run your application now again something went wrong cannot call value non function type date okay yeah because it's a not function so i'm just removing braces okay now run your application and see the output whenever you select any dates value from the date picker so now at that time your selected date has been print on your console so now here i am using as a print statement now here i am creating one objects as a dt okay so now whenever you select any date at that time your current date has been stored in a dt variable and then after i am print this variable so now here for example here you can see okay 11 september 2020 so now you can see 2020 it's a 09 it means september and 11th is your date okay and this is your current time and this is your default regions it's a gmt utc etc but here you can see the default format of the date is first it's a year second month 
then after date okay then after your times but if you want a selected date in a specific format okay so now we have one another class okay it's a date formatter so now here i am using one class it's a date formatter okay so now i am creating one object of the date formatter now then i here i am format the date okay so now here for the date formatter actually there are two different properties are there okay it's a date style and the date format so now date format it supported directly as a string and the date style it supported a specific styles so now here first i am using it's a date format so now here write down here your specific format of if you want for example here i am using it's a dd then mm and the yy okay so now first it is your date now month is always in capital format because small m reserved for the minutes so now here if you want as a month so now write down as a capital m and then year okay now if you want a uh, last two digit of your year at a time you can use uh, only double y now if you want a full year at a time you can use a four time y so now here i'm set a specific format of the date and then after this format will be print on your text field so now here i'm using your text field objects dot text okay so now here your text field is supported only dot text it means string but here your date format is written as a date format so now here i'm converting the date format dot string from date method okay so now here just pass to your date object it means dt okay now run your applications and now again see the output so now here i am changing the date format as per our requirement so now here my format is dd mm and y y y y it means full year so now whenever you select any date from the date picker you can see your text field is printed the selected dates okay so now you can see the format 28 it's my first date 05 it means month it's a may and 2010 it's a year now if you want a specific format for example here i am using only double y and then i am using a triple m so now let's see now this is the prefix attributes okay so now here you can see the double d m y it's a prefix attribute uh, it's coming from the date picker okay now let's see again now here i am changing date from the date picker so now you can see the 26 again it's your first date then after i am using triple m so now in providing a short form of the year month so now september so now only scp and then i am using only double y so now your last digit of your year okay now you can also use the second property of date formatter so now here you can use it's a date style so now how to use it so now here some reserved date styles are there so now you can use if you want a full date so now at a time you can use these properties if you want a long if you want a medium if you want a none it means blank date if you want a short so now let's try it one by one so now here i am using date style it's a full so now let's see the output okay now run your application now again there are two different properties of your date formatter class now here i am using date style so now see okay this is the full format of your date okay so now first day it means your day name then april your month then after you can see your date so now current date is 3rd april and then your year 2014 now if you want a specific format it's a long so now 
let's see the output again so now I am using dead style as a long so now what should we return so let's see again so now this is the output so now you can see okay so now dot long format is supported only your date month and year okay so now your month name in full format it's a June then your date 10 and your year 2020 now then after you have to also use a medium style so now let's see again what should be written in a medium formats so now I am using date style as a medium so now here whenever you change date from the date picker so now you can see okay your month name in a short format so now it's a December it means des DEC then after your date so now 18 and 2029 okay now I am using again it's the last is a short okay now again let's check then run your application and see the output here I'm using date style as a short okay so now you can see I am selecting the date from the date picker yeah you can see okay so now first 8 8 means it's provided first month okay so now 8 August sorry uh, 23 August so now first month then after your date then after your year so now you can see the last two digits of your year is been used using dot short format okay so now this is the date picker you have to use as per your requirements now you can use a date picker to allow a user to enter either a point in a time like as calendar date time value or both or a time interval for example a timer the date picker reports a interaction to its associate a target objects okay so now this is the date picker and here I am using it's a date picker as a different different mode property